Hello everyone, I'm here with another layout and I am showing you the paper pad that I used. I am completely done with the Amy Tan to have several of those, but for the most part, I used up the paper pad and that was my goal. So now my memories, one is Enchanted and one is Fancy Free that I've had. Enchanting is too recently, just one. Oh, this one's from 2010. What's this one from? A view fresh florals. Eleven paper layers are all from the die cuts with a view floral fair. I misread it. Polka dots, four paper pads, and mix and and I can try to and I can make it work to mix them. And these are. 180 pages in each of these paper pads so three of each pattern so what I did do is I took a day because I took one day last week and took a pattern different patterned background papers different patterns so I watched my NCIS Los Angeles and SWAT and then one day and then this and then this week I took and a different see that was floral fair the fresh week I took out papers from enchanted no 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 sorry from the recollect and I She must have my core. My drives keep popping up. My externals. Okay, so my die cuts that I use, these are all going to be past hip kit club embellishments that when I finished there was a little bit left sometimes more but um, I throw them in a container and I pull from them so I decided they're accumulating I'm getting a lot of it and too fast so I decided to take these June and July well the last part of June and all of July and work on just pulling from my own stash even though I got my July kit I am not going to work on July and I will be ordering August here soon and so I will not work on those till I go back to work which is <laughs> no I only have one this week off and then I go back to work. Oh my god. I go back to work in a week from tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to it. I do not want to go back. Anyway. So, yeah. Alright. So, now I'm going to do some embellishing. So I ended up printing this picture twice of my niece going down the slide. It's my sister's, my youngest sister's youngest. And so I ended up printing this picture twice, but I wasn't going to waste it, however. So I decided that I would use the three and a half by five and then the duplicate picture, I will cut it smaller and put it in a frame. I have tons of these chipboard frames that I need to, I need to try to figure out how I can use, use them up on a layout. I think I'm going to do a circular pattern using those 
chipboard frames. That sounds like a great idea. So I use that pink, oh, excuse me, sorry, I use that pink one. I try several, but I go for the pink. It fits the picture really well, and so I like it on the layout, so I use it. And I can see our storm is rolling in. It just was blue a minute ago, and now it's gray. We have rain, a storm coming in, so I should go blow off my driveway. It's really driving me nuts. Or at least sweep it with a broom. So, I'm looking for die cuts. I apologize. I'm looking in my drawer that I have behind me with more. <laughs> Besides the containers, I have some in. I have stickers from... April, May, and June kit still in its packaging because those stickers that you see right there those are the clear stickers they have several sheets I think eight sheets that are um, crepe papers all heart and I'm going to cut Use a circle stencil and cut a circle. That is my go-to stencil. I'll tell you what. I use that stencil quite a bit. I keep it out. So I'm cutting some stickers apart that I'm thinking about using, but, oh, I apologize. Wow. So all the my die cuts, it's nap time in this house. I'm the only one up, literally, Patton is sleeping on the desk beside me. Um, Coco sleeping in the hallway. Ginger fell asleep next to me on the couch. And she currently has moved into her bed that I put beside her because she was snuggling with me. She was on the arm of the chair and she fell asleep um, next to me because I had my arm on the chair. So she fell asleep against my arm. So I just slowly moved that so I could get up and do these voiceovers while I'm alone. And then she's currently moved to her bed. And then Reese, of course, is asleep outside every morning. I let Reese outside. And she just kind of hangs out in the yard. She doesn't really go anywhere, which I like. I don't want her wandering off anywhere. She pretty much stays. I have woods behind me, woods beside me. I'm on a corner lot. So she pretty much stays kind of, if she... If it's hot, she'll tend to go in the woods where it's much cooler for the shade. But mostly she is on my back porch. She likes to sleep on my patio table, which is fine. So I use a die cut as my title and that is going to complete my layout. So when I have more done, I'll be back with those. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.